Zod was one of my favorite discoveries of the last year, but good things come and go. Let's check out a new library that may make you say, bye bye Zod. Hello and welcome, I'm Dave. Today we'll explore a new library that may easily replace Zod for type safe schema validation. And I'll provide links to all resources in the description below. I'll also provide a link for you to join my Discord server where you can discuss web development with other students and you can ask questions that I can answer and receive help from other viewers too. I look forward to seeing you there. Today I'm providing a quick introduction to Valibot by Fabian Hiller. Valibot provides type safe schema validation, which is the same thing we use Zod for. And I have a Zod tutorial if you want to check it out. But there is one big difference between Zod and Valibot. With Zod, we typically import Z, which is an instance of Zod, and that means we've imported all of the methods that we can call on Zod as well, but maybe we don't need all of those methods. In contrast, Valibot is modular, so instead of being built as a large instance with many methods, for example, Valibot has many small functions and you only import what you need, and you can see that import size is very small. Now, Valibot has many similarities to TypeScript, and we can see some of that in this example, where here we have a line of TypeScript that uses a partial, and then below that we have Valibot, and here we're calling a partial function that we imported above, and then we're calling the object function here, and we have a key and a string and a second key and a number, so it looks a lot like TypeScript in that regard. Likewise, below we have a second line that is TypeScript, and it's using pick on an object and a key, and below then we have Valibot where it uses a pick function on an object and a key. And much like with Zod, we can infer our types from our schemas. So here you can see we have a login schema in this example Valibot code, and we're importing in the type output. And then below we define our login data type, and then we use output and type of login schema. And then when we want to parse data from Valibot, we import parse, and then we have our schema, in this example a login schema, and they show several examples here that will throw an error, and then one successful example of the login schema as well. So you can see it's expecting an email and a password, and it expects those not to be blank. So credit goes to Fabian and his team for creating Valibot and for thanking the creator of Zod, as you see that he does right here in this article. There we go. And Colin McDonald is the creator of Zod. And of course, this inspired the creation of Valibot. And that's how good code and good projects comes about. One project can inspire the other. And so I think this is great. And I do love using Zod as well. But I'm going to use this Valibot library on some code that I've used Zod on. Maybe refactor that code and see how I like using Valibot as well. Because there is one big difference. And that difference is the modular design of Valibot lets us only import what we need and it keeps this size of JavaScript that we ship to the client very small. And that's a good thing anytime we can do that. Overall, I think the ease of use for the developer experience seems good and time will tell how much adoption this gets. Good things have come along in the past and they haven't necessarily been adopted, but I like this and I'm going to try Valibot out. The project did gain around a thousand GitHub stars in the first day it was announced and that is good and the word continues to grow and spread. And if you take into account the big benefit between Zod and Valibot of the size reduction, that is Valibot can be up to 10 times smaller than an import of Zod. I think it's worth trying out. So you give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll make sure to leave links to this article, the GitHub page, and Valibot.dev all in the description of this video so you can check it all out. Remember to keep striving for progress over perfection and a little progress every day will go a very long way. Please give this video a like if it's helped you, and thank you for watching and subscribing. You're helping my channel grow. Have a great day, and let's write more code together very soon.